all right guys welcome back to makati media so former blasters captain um, asamojan just launched his book at kimpiski hotel and it hosted a lot of um, prominent men including our very own president nana kufado and um, freedom cheddar and a host of other celebrities including kennedy japan in this video i'm going to show you all the necessary footages from the event so make sure you watch to the end <laughs> William Monk, brother, he gave me the number of Yes, sir. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, as we welcome His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Adodakwa Ekufado. Please keep your applause going. Please keep it going. I have been to 
It is my hope that this book will enlighten future generations on what it has been. Mr. Chairman, let me repeat how honored I am to have you all here with me to celebrate the wonderful works of my life and career. Your presence, ladies and gentlemen, is indicative of the impact this blessed life of mine has made continue to make. I'm mostly assured to keep up the good work. A great pleasure. It's a big honor for me to be able to say that the book, Legendary, the autobiography of a Samoja, duly launched. <laughs> Time, no opinions safely. It's how I understand what I want in this place. See, because everybody want to tell you bad things. What could go wrong? What fame brings what? Success is a finicky thing. And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be. I don't want to let myself down, myself. Ladies and gentlemen, just before this interview with Gary L. Smith, I would like to... And now, ladies and gentlemen, I hand you over to Gary L. Smith as he digs into the mind of this great man. Gary. Thank you very much for joining us on this auspicious evening, this historic evening, this seminal evening in Ghanaian history. It is not a seminal evening in Ghanaian football history. It is a seminal evening in Ghanaian history because we, as a country, do not have our heroes documenting their story for many, many reasons. Top of them include the fact that their failures are going to make them laughing stocks. Despite their blazing successes, their failures tend to be what will define them. We like amplifying negatives and suppressing positives. But this man here, especially in our meetings, when it came up for some of the controversial moments and we asked him, Asa, do you want this in the book? Tronina! That's what he would say. Write everything. Because as you would see in the blurb, he says that he does not want your sympathy. He just wants his side of the story told because it seems that for a long time, only one side of the story has been told. Congratulations on your book, Asa Marjan. Thank you. You just watched your documentary, or the documentary that was done for you, more accurately. How did you feel? Um, before I speak, I would like to acknowledge my friends over there, those who are making noise. Uh, it'd be like, if you don't talk. <laughs> um, if you don't know, when I played in Dubai, um, I lived in Dubai for five seasons, five years. And um, I lived with them in the same house for five years. You know. So, um, yeah. So, back to your question. Um, I felt. Hold on. You sure say you give them the fans finish? I give them the fans. We will continue at home. So. At home, okay. Yeah. All right. 
<laughs> so um, yeah, watching this um, like a surprise to me. Um, the team have done an incredible job. They did everything behind me. I didn't know who they interviewed. Um, but I was watching, got to a time I got emotional. You know, and I'm, I'm still very emotional right now. But um, yeah, at least people who know Samoajan um, don't really know the real Samoajan. You know, um, somebody see me as, as the outspoken type, you know, the more energetic type. But they, they don't know the emotional type. You know, so I felt very, very emotional, honestly, you know, watching myself all these years. Although I've been watching some videos about me, but, you know, the comments of great men of our land, you know, watching me through all these years, acknowledging what I've done, saying what they said about me, it made me very, very emotional. On that tangent, if you look from the left, I want you to look from the left, all the way to the right, this way. Because of you, all these busy people, some of them billionaires, millionaires, dollar millionaires, CD millionaires, pound millionaires, euro millionaires, some controlled territories, because of you, they are here. What do you have to say to them? Yeah. Mm, sometimes I see people on the street and then they tell me you are the most hated player in Ghanaian history. <laughs> but they also tell me I'm the most loved. <laughs> you the same person. Same person. So I always sit down and ask myself why that hated part you know sometimes i ask myself questions and then i came to understand that it comes with the territory i put myself into this position when i started nobody knew who asamajan was it got to a time they knew it and um with the support of my brother who i always mention you know um, I'm very emotional right now, but he is the key. He's the one behind my success. Um, sometimes criticisms and everything comes. People blame him for him being a bad influence or something but they don't know what he has done behind the scene i'm the one who knows it and this is what makes the book very very interesting you know um, right now um the question is um i have to answer your question i would like to thank everybody who devoted their time um, all the dignitaries around my friends my fans uh, my critics I'm sure everybody is here. And um, of course, the man of the land is on his way coming. And um, he has done a lot. The former president, Chandraman Mahama. There is one minister who I loved so much. He was a former sports minister. Um, Mr. Mahama Ayariga. <laughs> he was a friend before becoming a minister, and um, I acknowledge what he has done for me personally. And um, our former minister, Mr. Yiti Mensa, sports minister, he has done a lot. And then everybody who comes, who came here to support me, and. Um, I would like to thank everybody for the love shown to me tonight. Yeah. So, next question. <laughs> <laughs> next question, he said. Um, 
question. The next question. Now, after thanking everybody, I mean, we look at the book you've written. We've we have established that it is a trailblazing document. Um, Asa, if you didn't know, I put it to you that you have become by this work, by this step, the first footballer in the great history of Ghana. Please give it up for him. It bears repeating. As President Okufuado said in that documentary, the great and the good footballers that have been produced in this country reads like a who is who of, of whatever it is. But you, the baby jet, number three, Ewole Monko. What did I leave? Actually, let me come in right there. Uh -huh. This Ewole Monko thing, uh -huh. I think it started for my senior captain, Stephen Apia. Oh, really? Yep. Uh, we were in the camp one day, and uh, so we have to pause here. Let's pause. Uh, sure. He so, so he became, and, and, and you put it in a song and immortalized the expression. He and it, it became my term, you know. So it will, it will, it will uh, signifies a lot of things, you know. Like you see a nice car, you say, ah, car with you, it will you know. <laughs> you score a nice goal. Go, yeah, go, it will you know. Like president is there, you know, president <laughs> 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 you know, so, And now and now my, my, my friend Adebayo has taken over. Anytime I call him, <laughs> So now um Adebayo has taken the Ewule Monko from me. So <laughs> so as they say, uh, if my my my, my Misato, you are more biblically inclined, they say Apollo's watered. Is it Paul Watson or Apollo's Watson and then something? Not. <laughs>